we welcome you to the south side of Chicago and guaranteed rate field. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Seattle Mariners going up against the Chicago White Sox. First pitch coming your way next. All right, just about set to go. And our starting pitcher here today, Dylan Cease. What do you have on him, Chris? Well, the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball, it's more of a knuckle curve. And because of that, it's less Pretty predictable in terms of the break for the hitter. But that makes it that much harder to hit this guy. Now it's the shortstop, J.P. Crawford. And the pitch. Flips the corner. And we're underway here on the south side of Chicago. First pitch, 1 o'clock. And now it's even up. See the velocity, 97 with that fastball. Left-hand batter waits. Looking. And now it's Julio Rodriguez. Oh. First pitch misses. Sees a 6 2 righty, 28 years old. And he was a sixth round draft pick back in 2014. One down, base is empty. That's a High fly ball, right field. Fletcher gets under it. And it's caught for the out. And now we check out the Mariners lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the game for a long time. And they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent and you always seem to see a team like this they come to the ballpark they know how to get down to business and they understand what the job is at hand two outs all one there Two down, nobody on. And he chases that one. And good work there as he gets a one, two, three. We're midway in inning number one. Now it's the White Sox turn. It's a scoreless ball game. Back here on the south side. And today's starting pitcher, Luis Castillo. What do you have on him, Singy? Great sinker. Although it's not his primary pitch, it's really a pitch that he can go to, misses the barrel of the bat, gets ground balls, and lets the defense work behind him. Andrew Benintendi steps up. Benintendi. The wind of the pitch. Benintendi, the former first round pick, Golden Spikes Award winner. The line of the pitch. And that one wrapped foul. And the righty deals. Benintendi tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. No swing. He held up. Patrick Johnson with the call there. Kicks and fires. Caught him looking for the K. Andrew Vaughn now. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. But why to kick the pitch? Ball two. 
I think it's very important to establish the inside part of the plate early sets the tone for the rest of the game. One out base is empty. On the ground right side. France gets it to first. And here this afternoon, two quickly away in the bottom of the first. Time to check out the lineup for the White Sox. And the key to victory for them here, get their starters some run support early. Boog, if they can get him that run support early, it's likely the other team folds because they know how dominant he can be once he gets settled in. So put pressure on that other team right away. Jump out to a lead early and a few runs is going to feel like 30. Luis Robert stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Oh. And another ball. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. But that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Ball. Just Hot. missed. There's a strike. Thought the green light might be on right there, but maybe not. If you're looking to swing in that count, that's the pitch you want. Ripped, but it curls foul. Righty delivers. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have Nine a four. very aggressive secondary Third lead. So three. ball down the line oh. or into the gap will produce oh. a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive one side ball. of it. Okay. Yoan Moncada stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Robert off the of first with two away. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Swing and a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Batting fifth, the designated hitter. Eloy Jimenez now. Jimenez. Off the mark there. And that is ball one. Two on, two outs. Swings and he pops it up near the pitcher's mound. Rojas gets there. He's under it. Makes the grab. And that will end the inning. White Sox strand a couple. Scoreless after one. Here on the south side. The all set for the start the of the inning. Hitter. Mitch Garver up to hit here. Garver. Now the right-hander ready to go. Still no score. Back to the mound. It hit him. Not in time. An infield knock to start the inning. And now the hustle out to check on him. That was quite a shot he took as you see him down on the knee. Yeah, clearly in some real pain, but he will not want to come out of this game if he doesn't have to. It's looking to me like he's going to try to shake it off and continue. Now the Mariners catcher, Cal Raleigh. And there's a foul ball. Shake it off. Let's get 
fouls one off out of play back to our left. Stays alive. One that ball. misses the zone. One and two to count. Wouldn't chase that time. And that's a little bit high. And it's a full count. Really good take, especially with two strikes. That's a good at bat right there. He was down early in that plate appearance. Works the walk. Base knock and now a free pass. This has the makings of a big inning if they can get a couple more quality at bats. So digging in, Ty France. And yeah, that's outside. First and second, no outs. Here at the top of the second. Next pitch in for a strike, and it's one and one. Larry Bullard, our umpire behind the plate. But Bullard's got a pretty standard strike zone. Sometimes they'll have you guessing a little bit, but overall, well-respected umpire in the league. Cut on and missed to the pitch upstairs. Have you ever caught a foul ball as a fan? Only as a broadcaster, not as a fan. You? I've been in many games as a fan. but call the ball ball two that's when you always want as a pitcher down at the knees and it looked to me like he's barking that's a strike doesn't change the call but sometimes it helps to let that frustration out a little bit and a pitch chases the high curve struck him out and I really like the ability to bounce back right there after not getting the call he probably should have gotten didn't let it affect his focus and he came back with another good pitch to get him swinging Here's the left fielder, Luke Rayleigh. The bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. One out. Runners at first and second. Comes up empty. That's strike two. And the slider just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. The one two. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. With that kind of velocity and elevated fastball, even if it's still in the strike zone, can be tough for hitters to get on top of. Now batting Mitch Hanniger. Up and in, ball one. And that one fouled off. And here it comes. And a count one and two. Kicks and deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. 
at the belt and fires in the air right field Fletcher under it and that's the third out two left on we go to the bottom of inning number two we're tied nothing nothing Bottom of the inning. Leading now it's the right fielder, right Dominic Fletcher. The right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Inside oh, just ball. missed. there at the knees and the count one and two good pitch down around the knees you want to be there all game in a park like this a pop-up sometimes will carry out right-hander kicks deals in the air right center this is mashed way back and gone That'll fire up the dugout. It's one nothing. Well, he put a really nice swing on that one, and everything was on time. Took a direct path to the ball. Excellent extension, and just drove it out of here. Nothing better than when the ball jumps off your bat like that. Now it's Paul DeYoung up to the plate. And that's outside. Ball one. But you just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. And the right hander deals. Nope, and that's a little high. Castillo, maybe a little less aggressive on the mound right now after that home run, Chris. Yeah, it seems that way. You know, pitchers, they can come out, feel good, but then all of a sudden get touched up a little bit and they start trying to throw instead of pitch. They're not trusting their stuff. And there's the automatic. Well, he's been good for the most part. Is it going to take someone going out to the mound to maybe refocus him a bit? Well, partner, every pitcher's a little different. I, I liken it to you. Sometimes you come in and you're not as focused, and I kind of do what it takes to get you on track, and then you have a great show. Uh, so perhaps it's the same with him. Nobody really wants their rhythm broken up, but sometimes they need a little pick-me-up. And a swing and a miss. And that's the first out. Nice recovery after giving up the homer. Nicky Lopez up to the plate. That one inside, and yeah, that's ball one. One run across in the frame so far. Bottom half of inning number two. Ball. That just ball. misses. Two and oh. Outside corner, there's a strike. That's a strike. Two. Two Battling here as he fouls it away. One down, base is empty. Three and that's downstairs and outside. Oh, he hit him. And that got him pretty flush. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Martin Maldonado up to hit. Kind of a throwback. No batting gloves.
Castillo will look to first. Oh, he's and he's there. back safely. That one finds the Come zone. On. One That's strike. strike one. Lopez over at first with one away. Misses, and the count is one and two. It's a good take. Chases the fastball up the ladder, struck him out. Ben and Tandy up here, went down on strikes his first time through. Ben and that one just misses a ball and no strikes. In the air, center field. Rodriguez settles under it, brings it in for the third out. The White Sox with the homer to get things going. It's an early 1-0 lead. Major League Baseball is on the show. Back at Guaranteed Rate Field, here's Josh Rojas. The third baseman, Josh Rojas. Cease back to work. That clips the corner. That misses the zone. One and one. And he deals. Swing and a broken bat roller towards third. And that's just foul. Here comes a pitch. Foul ball still a one and two count. That one is upstairs. Flew open a little bit with that front shoulder, but was able to slow his back down just enough to make contact with that pitch. Keep the bat alive. Got him looking, and he did not like the call. Frustrating uh -huh. end to the at bat for the hitter, mm -hmm. and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. Crawford in the box now as he looks at ball one. Second plate appearance of the day for him. Swing and a high fly ball deep left field. That's back. And it's gone. Home run. And that should quiet this home crowd. And we're level. It's 1-1. was a hanger and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that and right there he made him pay and up next for Seattle Julio Rodriguez he's over one first pitch just misses Righty delivers. Swung on and fouled off. And he'll need to do bad. The wind of the pitch. Well, Just missed. And another ball. Tied up here in the early going. 
And that one is lifted in the air. Fletcher under it. And there's two down. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. The batter now, Jorge Polanco. So Chris, through the early stages, he hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. And the righty deals. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. It is interesting, though, when you consider the way the game is run now, doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep because teams are really aggressively building their bullpens. Maldonado pulls that one down, and that is that. Solo Homer gets the M's even in this one. All even at one apiece. It's Major League Baseball on the show. Set for the bottom of the third, and here's the first baseman, Andrew Vaughn. Andrew Vaughn. And the right hander back to work. And there's the strike. Oh, and one. Right through there for a strike. The pitch. Oh. Oh, two fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. Here's a one two. Just misses the mark outside the zone. The punch out there, and that's the first out. And now it's Luis Robert. The center fielder, Luis Robert. There's the strike. Pitches outside, ball one. And here it comes. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. One down, base is empty. Got him swinging. Two gone. He came out of his mechanics there. Typically, he likes to shoot the ball the other way. But that time, a little anxious. And now, Yohan Moncada. They say you win. No ball, one strike. Two out, space is empty. And the pitch. Foul ball still 0-2. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. Corrals it, and that will end the inning. With three complete, we're tied at one apiece. And we're back, stepping in the long ball threat, Mitch Garver. Mitch Garver. The right-hander back to work. Not giving him a pitch to hit there isn't a bad thing. He's dealing with a great first pitch hitter up there. Well, these Mariners do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way, and I'm seeing very patient at bats out of him. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. This to third. In time to Vaughn. And one gone to the fourth as they get the leadoff man. Now back. Cal Raleigh. Cal Raleigh up next for the Mariners. 
Worked to walk in his first trip to the plate. And that one lifted in the air center field. Robert right there to make the grab. And that quickly two away. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage. And that might be the case today. And now the first baseman, Ty France. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. Just off the inside edge. Gets the slider in there for a strike. All tied up. Top half of inning number four. Next offering is in for a strike. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. Two outs. Foul off the plate. They'll do it again. And a one-two again. Got him. And a nice inning of work there as he sets him down. One, two, three. Mariners are down in order. Score remains deadlocked at one. Back here with my oh, pal Siggy. Bottom four. Guy. Here's Aloy Jimenez. And a pitch. And a foul ball. You know, these White Sox showing great discipline at the plate, and patience definitely seems to be the name of their game in this one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this offense. Swing and a miss struck him out. The high heat, too much on that one. Oh, I'd love to see guys like compete, you. and I know he's frustrated that he wasn't able to do anything with that pitch. You see it so well, but you have to respect the upper 90s velocity. Man, it is hard to catch up to. And now the right fielder, Dominic Fletcher. Strike one. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Base is empty, one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. There's a swing and a drive. Out of here, a home run off the foul pole. Another homer, his second home run of the game. It's 2-1. Two, two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. bat it looked like it had plenty of distance but there was just no telling if it was going to stay fair I mean he really hooked that thing down the right field line but good thing that big pole was there to let us know could have very easily just been a long strike if he hit it out swing and this one's blasted it's got a chance up against the wall and brings it in the batter number 15 Second baseman. So up next, Nicky. Nicky Lopez. Lopez. He was plunked in his first trip to the plate. In oh. for a strike. 0 1. -on He's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. That one, -on -one. one not close. And now it's even 1 and 1. And yeah, that's outside. Two and one. Righty to the plate. And that one fouled off. Center field. Rodriguez settles under it. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. But the White Sox get one on a homer. And it's now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show.
here on the south we side. The we go to the top of the fifth. So and now for Seattle, Luke, Luke Rayleigh. Rayleigh. Cease back to work. Splits the plate. It's 0-1. Well, these Mariners just aren't putting great swings on the baseball in this one. Just one extra base hit for them, so they haven't exactly been hitting the ball gap to gap or out of the park. That makes it really difficult to generate runs. And Ben Intendi able to make the grab. One away. And stepping in for the Mariners, Mitch Hanniger. Oh, he doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. Oh, and the slider inside. just misses. The pitch. Oh. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Now, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. And another ball. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. The pitch. Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. And Ben Intendi able to make the grab. Good pitch. He just kind of had him out in front on that pitch away and wasn't able to stay close. Josh Rojas up next for the Mariners. He was a strikeout victim his first time. Swing and a foul straight back. Two down, nobody on. That one is hammered. Right field, Fletcher going back, reaching for it, and brings it in. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the White Sox two and the Mariners one. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Now it's the White Sox catcher, Martin Maldonado. Maldonado. The wind and the pitch. There's a strike. And that one fouled off. And the pitch. Back to the mound. And it finds its way through for a hit. And that turns the lineup over. I'd say a mistake pitch in an 0-2 count. Too good of a pitch to hit right there. You have to expand the zone. Keep that leadoff man off first base. Andrew Benintendi up to the plate. Ripped on a line. Can't get there, and now maybe extra bases. Maldonado, round second on his way to third. Row comes in, runner stopped, second and third, nobody out. Well, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the OPS jump up. Manager might have to go to the bullpen a little bit sooner than he anticipated. Drew Vaughn steps to the plate for the White Sox. Yeah, that's too high. One ball, no strike. Two runners in scoring position, nobody out. And a good eye there. And another ball. 
I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Here's a 3 0. And that clips the inside corner. Two in scoring position, nobody out. Last half of inning number five. Hard hit, right side. That's out number one, and a run comes in to score. Well, you're definitely looking to do more with that opportunity at the plate. Two runners in scoring position, but at least he puts the ball in play. They bring across one run. Still one out there to pick up. Luis Robert now. The goal is to give your teammate a chance to score from third. There's a few ways he can get it done, but his best chance is to drive one in the air, look for the right pitch up, and then smoke it. That one misses. One and oh. He's been trying to tease the zone with that slider, but these hitters have showed patience not going outside the strike zone. The pitch. He was late there. Strike one. Well, that's today's style of baseball right there, right? Big time velo on the bump and big time pop at the plate. Slider misses outside. Wouldn't chase that time. Kicks and fires. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. And yeah, there's ball four. That's a great at-bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in this one. It's the second time he's taken ball four. One down. Yohan Moncada with a chance to hit. One for two. Pitch misses inside, and it's one to know. That clips the corner. Next offering is in for a strike. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. Breaking ball inside. And the count is two and two. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. The the so up next for Chicago, Beloy Jimenez. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. Benintendi at third, Robert at first, two out of the inning. And delivers outside. Two on, two outs. Turned on, but foul wide of third.
And a swing and a miss. And that's that. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Five innings complete. It's the White Sox three and the Mariners one. And welcome back to the ballpark. Start of the six, John Chomby with Chris Singleton. And leading off, J.P. Crawford. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. Oh. Misses outside, ball one. Oh, the shortstop takes a ball. Left hand hitter waits. That oh. one misses. And it's 3-0. Well, I would expect in this 3-0 count, you're taking all the way. See if they walk you. There's the swing and a miss. Do that fastball One right pick. by him, slightly elevated. That's a confidence boost for this guy out there on the mound. See if he continues to climb the ladder. Left hand batter waits. Popped up, foul territory behind the plate. And there's one down. That hanging breaking ball looks so juicy to the hitter, and nothing more frustrating when you miss that pitch and you pop out. He's going to have to think about that till his next at bat. So digging in, Julio Rodriguez. Bottom of the zone and a called strike. That curveball's been a big pitch for him today. He's been able to get ahead in the count with it. He's also been able to use it to put guys away. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. He's got it. And there's two down. Jorge Polanco, the next to hit. That one at 95 missed up top. And yeah, that's ball one. Two outs. That one fouled off. And down on strikes. Picks up strikeout number seven. No runs, no hits, no errors. Six, seven, eight, due in the bottom of the sixth. It's the White Sox three and the Mariners one. the right fielder Dominic Fletcher and the way he's going in this one we've been waiting for his spot to come around again all right listen everyone stop what you're doing right now this guy's got two home runs already now he's going for number three and a pitch oh. and ball one to the right fielder Swing at a ball lifted to center field. Rodriguez makes the grab one down. Now batting shortstop Paul. Paul DeYoung steps to the plate for the White Sox. Tired or not, he's relentless with the way he pitches. He might be exhausted out there, but his stuff is still nasty. Oh, and that one just that. missed off the outside edge. And that's off the inside no edge. No and it's 2-0. Oh. One down, base is empty. That's in for a strike on the outside corner. And it's 2-1. And, and another ball. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. 
kicks and deals. And they'll do it again. And a payoff pitch. And that's, that's ball four. four. Thank you, mate. Close pitch there, but you've got to forget about that call if you're out on the mound. You can't let it affect you going forward. You've got to get out of the inning first. And then if you want to be frustrated, take it out in the dugout. And here comes the Mariners manager to the mound. Pitching change coming. Luis Castillo won't go any further. And as he heads for the dugout, we'll take a quick break. New arm on the mound when we get back. Jackson Kowar into the game. Now pitching for Seattle. Number 37, Jackson Kowal. Runner on at first with one gone. Nicky Lopez steps to the plate for the White Sox. And yeah, that's in there at the knees for a strike. De Young stands at first with one out. Misses inside. One ball, one strike. In the air, left field down the line. Rayleigh pulls it in, and there's two away. The bat, the catcher, Martin. And next to him for the Sox, Martin Maldonado. Right through there for a strike. No need to offer that pitch until you get to two strikes. It's just a low percentage of success when you want to try to go after that down and away pitch. Right handed reliever. And that one in the air center field. Rodriguez pulls it down, and that's the inning. So one left for the White Sox. And the score stays three to one. Back here on the south side, we go to the top of the seventh, and now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners, Mitch Garver. The why to kick the pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. And it's even up. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Garrett Crochet, the left-hander, up and throwing. Hill warming up as well. The wind of the pitch. On the ground. And it goes just foul. And the right-hander deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. Careful. Hard hit left side. Slings it across and they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. And up next for Seattle, Cal Raleigh. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. You come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him, we're probably not going to steal anything today. So that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits, some slogs, some home runs can come into play. Brushed left center field. This one's deep. Forget it.
That was blasted to the moon. It's 3-2. That one just sounded different. And yeah, might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. No matter how this outing ends, that pitch is going to haunt him for a while. An 0-2 mistake. That's supposed to be a pitch out of the zone. He left it in the spot that the hitter could do some damage with, and that's exactly what he did. Here comes the skipper, and we're going to see a pitching change in this spot. Dylan Cease will depart. Pretty good effort, and he exits with a lead. We'll tell you about the new pitcher when we get back. A new pitcher in the game, Jimmy Lambert. These are the spots where relievers really make a name for themselves, late and close. There's not much margin for error, but at the same time, there's a reason they're put in these situations. So up next, Ty France, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Reaches over the wall, and he's got it! Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. Luke Rayleigh up next for the Mariners. That's a strike across the top of the zone. Lined in the left center, and that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. And the double puts the tying run in scoring position with two away. All over that one right there. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. Now we'll see if they can pick up that tying run and start us over here in the late innings. And it scored position with two away. And now the right fielder, Mitch Hanniger. Fought off foul. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit is probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Trying to hold a one-run lead here at the top half of inning number seven. And that one popped to short. Brings it in. And that's the third out. One run closer for Seattle after this solo shot. It's now a 3-2 ball game. You're dialed into the show. Set for the last Ready half of the seventh. Ben Intendi to the plate. No left fielder. Andrew. Ben Intendi. And he deals. In there at the knees. Strike one. This one rip, but foul to the right. And one and two. Right-hander kicks deals. Fights that one away, still one and two. Righty delivers. That misses off the outside edge. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Some high cheese for strike three. Oh, you got to be pretty quick with the bat speed these days. So many guys throwing in the upper 90s, and you see the velocity on that one. Just tough to catch up to. 
I mean, guys are coming in, and they're going max effort. They're not looking to go a long distance. They want to get as many strikeouts as they possibly can. Vaughn in the box now. No balls and a strike. Base is empty one away. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Next pitch off the play. And the count is one and one. And another ball. Wouldn't chase that time. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with the 3-1 count. And he walked him. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much now gifted batting. him first base center with fielder. a quick free pass. And now the center fielder, Robert. Luis Robert. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Not even okay. close there. And that is ball one. Vaughn, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Just missed. Well, usually a high level of confidence when you're facing a young pitcher out there on the mound. In this situation, ahead 2-0. He's put himself in a really good spot. Just missed. This is a really good feeling for a hitter at this point in the ball game. You know that they don't want to walk you, so you're going to get a pitch to hit. You just better not miss it. 3-0 down. And that drops in for a strike. Right through there for a strike. And boy, that Three was the pitch. 3 1. Right. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. And here it comes. Big stock center field. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side. And the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Here is Moncada, one for three. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter. Runners at first and second with one gone. Swing and a miss. 0 oh and 2. They can live up in the zone all game if guys will chase it. That's just too much velocity. Hitters got to look down in the zone. Going to oh. count one and two. Way to lay off that pitch down. Action in the bullpen for Seattle. Taylor Saucedo appears to be getting ready for manager Scott Service. At the belt and fires. Fouls it off. Still one and two. Two on, one out. Foul ball still, a one and two count. Here comes a pitch. Ground ball right side could be two to Crawford for one. Ow! The double play ends the inning and might have saved the game for them. Pitcher made the pitch, and his players made the play behind him. Nice job. 4 6 3 inning ending double play.
Welcome back and a new arm on the mound to start the eight. Garrett Crochet. And we all know about his slider. It's just filthy, man. And one of the better ones in the game, I'd say. Spin rate's very high and just breaks a ton. Here's the third baseman, Josh Rojas. The lefty fires. Breaking ball through there for a strike. Activity in the pen for the White Sox. Johnny Brebbia, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out. Looking to get the tying run on base. This one drill, right center field. That one, heading for the fence, and gone! He powers that one out of here, and they tie it up. It's 3-3. Three, three. He put a charge into that one. That was a lightning swing right there, no doubt about it. fast hands to be able to hit that velocity fastball on the inside part of the plate in my experience when you're looking out over the plate allowing the ball to travel it's pure reaction to hit a pitch in that location that's a tremendous swing JP Crawford up next for the Mariners and fouled off Always exciting to see a leadoff home run in an inning. Kind of gets the offense fired up, and you start to expect a big inning. The wind of the pitch. The shortstop takes the ball. The real threats are coming up. Already given up a home run in this inning. It's going to really have to bear down. Good eye in that spot. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in, and he spits on that one. That catches the corner. the first out nice recovery after giving up the homer Boog, he was shopping at the buckle right there the way that slider made him look that was just nasty so digging in Julio Rodriguez three flyouts already he's 0 for 3 late swing fouled off Trying to keep good speed off the bases. Now wanted one. And another ball. Two and one. One down, base is empty. A little out front there as he swings through it. Base hit. That was smoke through the infield. He was all over that one. Everyone's trying to elevate the ball in today's game, but if you can hit a ball that hard on the ground, it's going to find some holes. And now, let's see if they force some action with good wheels on the bases. Go ahead, run on base. Jorge Polanco up next for the Mariners. A switch hitter batting right. Swing and a miss. Nice changeup. Next offering is in for a strike. The two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. Oh. 
And that one is lifted in the air. Fletcher moving under this one. Snags it for the second out. Now that designated hitter, Mitch Garver. Now it's the Mariners' DH. Mitch Garver outfield deep here tried to prevent anything over their heads and ball one if you're a base runner you got to stay dialed in here look for anything in the dirt try your best to get in the scoring position and that one fouled off And the pitch. And that one fouled off. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Not close with that one. Two and two. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Two gone, the possible go ahead run at first. Chopper right side, Lopez. In plenty of time to first, third out, and that ends the frame. The Mariners pick up a run thanks to this solo homer. We're tied now with three apiece. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Out of the bottom of the eighth, and the batter now, Aloy Jimenez. Coar back to work. This one popped up right side, but it's just foul. The pitch. That one a little bit high. And one and one. Just missing off the plate there, according to the umpire. And out there on the mound, maybe trying to get an explanation. Can't say he's convinced, but it looks like he's accepted it. The one one. Activity in the bullpen. Trent Thornton getting ready to go. Fouled off. He was late. And a pitch. Foul ball. Another 2 2 upcoming. The pitch. Out to center. Rodriguez settles under it. Puts it away for the out. Now better. The right fielder. Dominic Fletcher steps Fletcher. to the plate for the White Sox. Hey. And there's a strike. Good heater at 98. Well, in an 0 0 count, not every strike is a good strike for a hitter. I like the plate discipline there. Oh, a little bit high. One and one. And another ball. Hit on the ground to the right side. And he handles it himself for the out. Deceptive slider right there. Stayed in the tunnel a long time. Got that hitter out front. Rolled over it. Put it on the ground. Young. And up next for Chicago, Paul DeYoung. a base hit so a two out knock keeps the inning alive and puts the go ahead run on base well clearly he was ready to hit right there hooked around that pitch on the outside but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely and that takes quick strong wrist to pull that off two outs runner at first here's the second baseman Nicky Lopez 
Swing and a ball lifted left field. Makes the play and it's out number three. The White Sox leave one. Still tied three and three. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound, Davey Garcia. The offense will need to be ready for the breaking stuff. He's got a great curveball. Now the Mariners catcher, Cal Raleigh. He's already homered in this game. A wind and a pitch. Ball one, no strikes. Way to lay off that fastball up right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. And the righty deals. That's off the mark, and it's two and one. Chase that time. Ty France on deck for the ends. That one is absolutely belted. Robert on the move, racing back. Just missed it. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Stepping in, Ty France. Swing and a miss. Strike one. Movement for the White Sox in their bullpen. Prelander Barroa is loosening up. This would be his first appearance for the club. Number 67 getting cranked up as well. All tied up here at the top of the night. Oh, Next offering oh. is downstairs. Good eye right there. Swing and a miss as that one was high. Yeah, I don't think anyone's got good numbers swinging at pitches in that location. The pitch. Line to right, base hit. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. A perfect example right there. That plate discipline, it pays off. The deeper he gets into a count, the more comfortable he becomes, and he usually wins the battle. Substitution now at first base. And pinch running for the Mariners, Dylan Moore. Number 26. Now the left fielder, Luke Rayleigh. Right through there for a strike. Swing and a miss as he was late that time. I think he was sitting off speed there. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Had him out front for strike three. Well, classic pitch sequencing there to change eye levels for the punch out. That fastball on the pitch before was up. It was very competitive. And that gets you thinking that he might try to climb the ladder. But then the curveball out of that same tunnel just falls off the table, and you can't make contact. Mitch Hanniger will foul. They got him, and that will end the inning. No runs, one hit, no errors, and no one left. And 9-1-2 scheduled to lead off the bottom of the ninth. All tied up at three apiece. Now into the ball game on defense, Dylan Moore. He takes over as the new first baseman. Martin Maldonado getting ready to hit. The catcher. Martin Maldonado. The pitch. 
Bounced up the middle. Dives, but it's off his glove. Gets it there in time, though, so they get the first down of the inning. Great job by the second baseman right there. Quick reaction to dive, knock that ball down, and big leaguers just don't panic, not the good ones. He gets up, makes the play, really good throw over to first base. That's the kind of composure that you want to see from a guy in that position. Now it's Andrew Benintendi to hit. Ripped, but it curls foul. Line drive, caught. He put a really good swing on that pitch and hit the ball hard. You know, line drives won't always find a hole, but the more you can hit the ball like that with good exit velo, the better off you're going to be in the long run. So two down now, and here is Andrew Vaughn. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. That one laced to center and a base hit. So a two-out knock, and that puts the winning run on first. Now batting, better fielder. Now, Luis Robert. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. First offering misses badly for ball one. Two outs, but the winning run is at first. Pretty good pitch to take a pass at in a 1-0 count. Just not able to square it up. This guy's got good power with one swing. He can win it for him. Rojas. They get the force. That's the third out, and we're headed to extras. So one left for the White Sox. Score remains tied at three. Back at guaranteed rate field. On to extra innings. And now for Seattle, Mitch Hanniger. The pitch. That misses the zone. Ball one. Fought off foul. And a pitch. And fouled off. Well, if he's going to do something special right here, it's going to have to happen with two strikes. Man at second. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Nice grab on the run. And there's one down. Nothing instills more confidence in a team than a center fielder who makes a great play like that on the run. They can feed off the energy he brings just from his playmaking abilities. So up next, Josh Rojas. He's already homered here in this one. Just missed. One out. The go-ahead run is at second. And that one fouled off. Top of the zone, and it's called a strike. This one in the air right field. Fletcher settles underneath it, and there's two away. Maybe caught that one off the end just a little bit. Couldn't quite barrel it up enough to really drive it. Now here is J.P. Crawford. That clips the corner. Late swing, foul to the left. Up 
up and in and it's one and two. Swing and a pop off in foul ground. And that's the third out. Mariners leave one. So no change in the score. It's 3 3. We're in extras here. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Sox, Yoan Moncada. And he deals. That misses, and it's one to no. And the pitch. That one's in there. And that is strike one. Coar picks over, oh, and he's back in safely. Yeah, you know, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Swings through that one. one well, ball. he went inside a couple of times, and now outside... Hitter's not exactly sure where to look for this next pitch. And the right hander deals. Swing and a miss struck him out and one away. And next is the designated hitter, Aloy Jimenez. Right through there for a strike. And I know you want to be patient as a hitter, but you got to be ready to jump on the first thing straight. And he got one right there, but left the bat on his shoulder. The winning run on second base no, just missed. Pickoff moved to second. Robert dives back in. Kicks and fires. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And they take care of Jimenez for the out. Two down. Dominic Fletcher steps to the plate for the White Sox. And there's no doubt that they'll feed off the energy from this crowd, right? I mean, yeah, I'd say the intensity level has gone up a few notches for sure. Fought off foul. That one rip, but foul. The 0 2. And that one off the outside edge. And that's awfully close. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball out of the pitcher's hand really well right now. Here's a 1 2. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Left-hand batter waits just outside. And the count is even, two and two. That's a really good take. Man on second, two down. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. to third but handled and that'll end the inning.
go. We go to the 11th. And stepping in for the Mariners, Julio Rodriguez. Julio Rodriguez. And the right hander back to work. Swing and a miss. Good pitch right there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's got to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Slap the other way, foul. He's falling behind in a huge spot, Boo. Got to do what it takes to come through. Maybe choke up on the bat a little bit, spread out those feet, whatever it takes. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. Well, he knows they don't want to give him anything to hit, but when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Man at second. Two balls, two straight. In the dirt, and the runner stays where he is. And now two and two. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Right-hander kicks deals. The other way, and it stays fair. Coming home. He'll score, and the Mariners take the lead. It's 4-3. to three. What a way to get it going. A double to not comb the runner from second. Yeah, just clearly trading places, and now that guy on second threatening to score more runs. Good clutch hitting to lead off the frame. Runner in scoring position. No outs. And up next for Seattle, Jorge Polanco. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Come on, Sox. And a foul ball. Right handed reliever. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Here's Rodriguez trying to score. He scores, and it's a two-run lead in extra innings. Seeing some good swings from him right now with consecutive extra base hits. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it, and that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. New pitcher for the White Sox, Prelander Baroa. And that's a big potential run out there in second as he comes in trying to keep the deficit where it is. For the infielders, they got to be thinking about keeping the ball from getting by them into the outfield any way they can. Next is the designated hitter, Mitch Garver. First pitch, and he just misses. Nobody out with a pair of runs across in the frame. We are in the 11th. There's a strike, 95 of that one. Rips one to right. That's a hit. And they get it in quickly. First and third now with nobody out. Love how he let that ball travel, trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So they're at the corners now. And now the catcher comes up to him. Cal Raleigh. Foul ball there. In the infield at the corners, don't be surprised to see them come home first and prevent that run from scoring. Polanco, the runner at third. Garver at first with no outs. And that's off the inside edge. And it's one and one.
Got him swinging. Chased the fastball up the ladder for a strike three. So he needed a strike out there, and he got it. And now we'll see how they play it defensively. Yeah, now they can move the middle infielders back a little bit, get into double play depth, and look for a ground ball and roll it up, get a big double play, get out of this inning. I tell you what, that was a big strikeout in a spot where they really needed one. Here's Dylan Moore getting his first plate appearance here in extra innings. He entered the game as a pinch runner. And that's in there for strike one. Swing and a miss as he was out front. Big pitch right here. He's going to try to make a pitch to going to produce a strikeout or a ground ball double play. The 0-2. To third. And that chance handled. Over to Lopez, one. And that's two. Two runs, three hits, no errors, and one left. Last shot here as we go to the bottom of the 11th. It's the M's five and the White Sox three. Back now and on the mound, the closer, Andres Munoz. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Andres Munoz. Here's the shortstop at the play. Paul DeYoung. And a pitch. 101 on the gun, swing and a miss. Tying run at the plate. registers the punch out and hits 101. Well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Come in and close the door, cancel any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Lopez in now, takes ball one off the plate. With the tying run at the plate, and we're in the bottom of the 11. <laughs> the tying run at the plate. Fights that one away, still one and two. Left hand hitter waits. Slow ground ball to the right side. Polanco tosses to first, and that quickly two away. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. White Sox down to their final out. Martin Maldonado now at the plate. Close one doesn't get the call. And that's ball one. And that one fouled off. Slider misses outside. And the White Sox down to their final strike. Okay. That one just missing inside. Three and two now. Got him! And that is the ball game.
Well, I love the fact they didn't quit. They had to do a little extra work tonight to secure this win, but it's what you got to do over the course of a season if you want to be a championship ball club. A 5-3 final score in this one. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.